Arthur, you ready to go back in time? Like the, you know, like the uh, Back to the Future, like that song. You know, it was okay, but you're not really selling me. Uh, it's because I'm nervous about singing. I'm not. Uh, I'm not very confident in my singing voice, and I don't want to embarrass myself. Oh, that's that's fair. Uh, I love you though. I, I and appreciate yes. that, and that's uh, you give me the courage to to you know chase my bliss. <laughs> We're playing Super Time Force. It is the the new jam from Cappy, uh, indie developer behind games like Wow, that was a really good start. Yeah. Uh, behind uh, Sword and Sorcery. Uh, this is a pretty far cry from that game, though, because it's yes. batshit. It's yes. batshit crazy. It is a little bananas. Uh, um. It is also uh, goddamn delightful. It is also <laughs> one of the... I, I'm more excited about this game than I have been about a game in a really long time, and that, that just is so refreshing. So, have you been looking forward to this for a while? I, You know, it's been sort of on the periphery. I played it at a at, at, at an event, I think a PAX or a E3 or something. Mm -hmm. uh, what's great is the, the game has changed so drastically from when they first announced it, and even when I played it at that event last year, it is a, a totally different thing. Like, the mechanics have totally changed. It's uh, been in development for kind of a long time. It has been, yeah. So basically, the main hook is you play as this force of it, basically a dumber version of the A-Team, a version of the A-Team that, like, breaks things, like, makes things actively worse uh, by shooting... In your, time. In time. You, you're shooting your way through time, and you have these different mechanics where... You see I have 30 lives, which is a lot. Uh, and every time that you die, you can rewind to wherever you want, even all the way back to the beginning of the level, um, and then drop back into that time stream with your ghost of the last character you played as. Well, all the characters that you played as during that run. Uh, and you can you can use those new characters to help out your other characters to get yourself through the level a little bit faster because you can see you have that time limit at the top of the screen. See, I just died right there. Oh no! Right. So the thing about this game that surprised me, um, having not really having a lot of expectations, just having seen some trailers and stuff over time, is that it's way more of a time attack than than I expected that it would be. Sure, yeah, because getting through the level, you have 30 lives. It's a shit ton of lives. You have a lot of lives. Beating right. the level isn't hard. Doing it in a way where you uh, clear it in a you know, pretty fast time, uh, clearing it while finding all the collectibles. There's a ton of collectibles to, uh, to discover, uh, some of which won't even show up until you start rewinding time. Right. Uh, in order to do that, like it's it's a lot more than just like running and gunning through the level. It is finding ways to do it as quickly as you possibly can. You can see I'm, I'm not close to the end of the level. I've got eight seconds left. So right. obviously, like, I've been taking way too much time digging up collectibles, trying to kill everything. Um, so three seconds left. If I just drop back in right there, it's, it's not going to do me anything at all. I'm going to lose. So I'm going to go way back, way, way back. Um, so now all that time that I spent, you know, running to the left there to get those collectibles, uh, meticulously shooting my way through every enemy, the ghosts are going to do that for me now. So I can spend more time trying to get a little bit ahead in the level um, without wasting as much time. Right, and this is really, like, doing what you're doing right now is really the only reasonable way to get secrets in the game because they can take a lot of time off the clock to get. Yeah. And so basically what you do is you, like, record a version of a hero going through and doing that stuff, and then you just rewind it and play next to it yeah uh, some of those collectibles like these gold things you can see it shoots out sometimes those will go flying like yes. way 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 far away and the only way that you can get them is rewinding to a point where you can create a character that can then jump into that world and then manage to get to where that thing lands before because if it touches the ground it breaks and shatters yeah which is the it. interesting thing that it basically it contrives a scenario where you have to be able on the spot to catch it. Yeah, because if you um, if you set yourself up for a situation where uh, you start the level and then you immediately run and shoot one of those things and it sends it flying to a place where you can't get it, you may not be able to rewind far enough to where you can get a character over to where you need that character to be to pick up the thing. It's a really, really difficult concept to explain, but basically you have to be thinking about not only what you're doing on this run, but what you are going to be able to do with other characters in the future. 
Um, and then, it, it, in a lot of cases, what you are, what you did. Right. Um, what you already did, what you don't have to waste time on with another character. Um, as you can see, other characters have different abilities. There's a new character. It actually takes me a while to figure out that I have to run into him. <laughs> yeah, before him. he gets killed. And he just got killed. And then, yeah. um, so you can time out. Hey, you don't have to wait until you die, either. You can press the, the B button at any time and just drop out and drop back in. Now you can so, see I've got two characters trying to save this guy before he Right, gets and paid. bosses are sort of the uh, the places where the time mechanic... Uh, I, I think that it finds its best footing or its more in, most interesting footing. Absolutely, yeah. Because it's a very um, condensed version of this idea of... You can see whenever you do something that prevents the death of a character, uh, you can pick them up, almost like a power-up. And then whatever character you're playing as uh, currently in that run gets an extra HP meaning they can take a hit without dying. Uh, and not only that, whenever you use your charge-up attack, every character has like a basic shot and a charge-up attack, you get to use theirs as well. So you can really, really power up that character by saving the lives of other characters. Right, yeah. And there's a character um, also, design, I just did it right there. There's a character who has a big shield who's basically designed to just do that, to block bullets and, and save your characters, and then you know racking up a bunch of extra HP and becoming like a total powerhouse. Right, yeah, and I mean, uh, the so, the way that bosses work is that there's no way that one character can take them out in the amount of time that you have. Yeah. So you have to keep replaying it, adding more and more firepower to your, your sort of boss run to try to get it to done. To drain their health bar as quickly as possible. Not only that, sometimes in those situations, I'll, I'll show a boss fight later on, uh, just so we can get an idea of like what that looks like. Um, but maybe you want to spend like your first couple runs just like shooting down the projectiles that the boss is firing at you right. So you don't have to worry about them for the rest of the boss fight with your other characters There's And this especially comes into play later in the game uh, when you ha when you're riding on vehicles that can be destroyed by the boss Yes, um, and so you have to block the attacks that would otherwise destroy you The, the, the game adds special mechanics like that uh, pretty frequently um, so, like, there's one level where you have a battering ram that you have to protect as you, you drive it to, uh, this gate, but there are Because it's like, a nuclear battering ram. It's a ram. nuclear battering ram. Uh, we should also mention the game is, like, the premise of the game is just cr the craziest. It um, is really stupid. I am a dinosaur it's... on a skateboard if you need it, he, he, and he's got lots of tood. I'm also not spending my time very efficiently here, which I will come to regret a little bit later on. You're, po you're Poochie the Velociraptor. Basically. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Um, and now you're dead. And now I'm super, super dead. But I can fix that, which I do. Which, which is pretty much the moral of the story, is we can fix that. We can fix... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, block those. And then I picked up the life of my dino buddy. Killed him, but I didn't get that gold piece. So I got time out. Drop back and catch it. So the thing for me playing through it for review is I didn't feel like I, I had time to necessarily always, like catch that stuff to do that stuff and i could see myself going back through the game to do that yeah whereas the thing right now that you're demonstrating is that you just spent a lot of time that was half, doing something half my time yeah and you can pick up totally these, unnecessary you can pick up these 10 second boosts um but that's only going to get you so far it really does take a lot of time to try and find everything um are there leaderboards for this game in terms of like getting through the game as fast as you possibly can i mean there are leaderboards for different things yeah. i think um um I, I, it's very compelling, the loop of, I, like, I, I go through each level very slowly, very meticulously. I will, like, happily restart a level halfway through it if I think that I have, like, somehow screwed myself out of not being able to get all the gold things. Right. Um, uh, there's, there's a lot of hooks, a surprising amount of hooks. So the, the interesting thing for me is, like, when I first started playing the game for review, uh, when I died, I would only rewind just enough to right before that character oh, died and then play through. And then as, as time went on, and this is especially true on the boss levels, I realized that it would almost always benefit me to just rewind all the way. Just start the entire level. Yeah, especially yeah. in the boss fights, because in the boss fights, if you think about it like mathematically, you can double your damage output if you just kick it from the beginning and you know add an extra assault rifle to, to your salvo. Um, and it seemed to me over time that like that wasn't just a good idea. It was It's the only way to succeed. Mm -hmm. on some of the later bosses in particular. Um, and figuring out like which characters to use at which times is a really interesting thing during those boss fights. Because for instance, uh, Jean Rambois uh, has this sort of spread fire attack, which is really good if there's like 
a ton of projectiles just sort of raining down on your team uh, that, that you can, you know, save them all from. Uh, but you have to figure out, like, do you want to do that from the beginning, or do you want to do that a bit later on? Because if you do it later on, you will prevent the deaths of all of those characters and get, like, get a ton of extra boosts for, yeah. for whoever you're playing as. Um, it's, it's, it, there, each character has, like, a special thing. The dinosaur has this, uh, melee attack and is, is pretty fast. Uh, the sniper can shoot through walls, which makes it really easy to save somebody. Uh, also, her, her shots bounce uh, which is occasionally pretty helpful. Yeah. Um, I'm uh, it's not. interesting to me. I can see that there's a couple characters that you've passed in the game and haven't saved. Oh, interesting. Uh, well, I, I, I haven't... I've been playing these uh, levels out of order. Sort of Mega Man style, you are given the opportunity to play as whoever you want. Um, um, specifically, though, the, the you have the cave girl. Yes. Um, the, the road warrior girl. But there's another character in that level that you can save. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow, I had no idea. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if there was a lot of that stuff because I'm sure there's a ton of collectibles that I uh, that I also haven't discovered. I think by the end there's eight or nine. Okay. All right. Well, now I know I have to go back. Thank you, Arthur. Man, yep. I am... It was not a very good run. Sometimes well, you've only got 28 lives. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Like, you can't feel too bad about it because death is like a... a like a mechanic in this game. Like, it is the fastest way to get from point A to point B sometimes is to die and set yourself up for a faster run in the future um it's still and also to it. give yourself sort of a de facto power up if you decide that yeah that's if you can save you can like take. i just saved dinosaur boy now i have a rocket launcher and a dinosaur bite that's pretty sweet um it's uh i don't know it's interesting like it does something that i don't think any game i can think of has ever done before this idea of you know having to think in the fourth dimension of like this this run i know is not going to be the run that gets me to the end of the level so what can i do to set myself up what can i do to set future me up to to make a really sick run well it's it's interesting right because it's like there we've played so many games that have that retro aesthetic and like uh it's in on a surface level it's just a shooter like 8-bit in 16-bit shooters but the sort of power of modern technology lets you do that crazy like time rewinding thing and it's always recording and it can do it up to like 35 times mm -hmm. so it's literally something that like we've never seen in a game before and it's interesting to have watched sort of this game get developed because so the the build i played last time didn't have this idea of when you picked up a character, you got HP like that, and you also sort of absorbed their special attack. It just didn't have that. If you picked up a character, you could get an extra life to, like, respawn back into the game, but that was it. Um, and th this idea of being able to rewind time and drop in and drop out at, at will was also a mechanic that that wasn't what they originally showed off. The original mechanic was you died, and I'm pretty sure you just started the level over and then played along your ghost. And like, that is yes. such a huge improvement. Like, if that was the way that you had to play the game, it would be infuriating. Um, so like, they have been really, really, really clever about taking this idea and refining it, and not just like making it a clever like puzzle mechanic, but actually making it like a super fun action game. Um, I don't know, it's just, it's it's really, I, I know that the game has been in development for a while, but it's nice being able to see like how the sausage has gotten made and like where that time went. It went into like making this cool idea into a genuinely great idea. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna have time to beat this. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Ooh, that was a close one. Yes, um, and then you get a jetpack. And then Jeez. I get a jetpack. The jetpack levels are great. There's one level, and I, I, I'm actually, this this is, I think, 10,000 BC, or 1 million BC. Uh, you're 1 million BC. By the way, the thing that I love the most about 1 million BC is that it's 1 million BC so in dinosaurs, which is hilariously inaccurate. But Because the world's only 6,000 years old. Yes. Uh, they've <laughs> added feathered velociraptors. Yeah. Because now that's like the current understanding of dinosaurs, is that dinosaurs probably had feathers. Yeah. Uh, so now we get feathered velociraptors. Well, and they also had like skin. familial structures, and like the baby would be like on the baby gotta love me, and um, oh, there right, was like a grandma true. dinosaur that like was real persnickety and did not like her her son-in-law very much. And then global warming killed. And then everyone. global warming killed all of them in the most haunting TV finale of all time. This is what I'm saying. Um, uh, that is also, all science, all all canonical fact. 
Just like the the Mad Max references and stuff. And going over the replay that you just showed a little bit of, like that actually underlines one of the main differences between this version of the game and the Xbox 360 yeah, version of the game. I don't think I explained what that is. When you finish a level, you can actually watch it in real time how you played it without interruption and see all of your characters sort of bounce off of each other. Sort of in it's Super like, Meat Boy style. Exactly, yeah. With, and, that, with that time travel mechanic sort of layered into it. It's really... It, in, in boss fights, when you have literally 20 guys all bouncing around and shooting each other, like it's, it, insane. it's amazing. Um, and so the thing with the Xbox One version is that uh, during that replay, you can hit the Y button and it will record a full uh, playthrough of the level to your game DVR. Like it will be perfectly timed and all oh, that stuff. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, whereas with the 360, it's just like a fun thing that you can look at. And maybe if you have capture equipment, like Griffin does. Yeah. Um, then that'll work. Uh, but otherwise, like the only real differences are just, it's it's a little stuttery on Xbox 360 uh, in some parts. And uh, man, I just never thought to use the shield guy on the side. I'm telling that's you, that's genius. the thing. You discover stuff like that, like the shield can block these meteors that are coming down and you can, you can like, I just got through half the level in 12 seconds. Like I did a yes. killer, and then I can really kind of take my time and be leisurely with like uh, finding all the collectibles and stuff like this. Like it, it I'm telling you, it is one of the most mechanically satisfying action games I've played in a really, really, really long time um, because like it controls really well. It's super twitchy and, and rewarding. And when you get on a tear, like I, I think I keep this guy going for quite some time. When you get on a tear, man, you feel like the king of video games. Uh, Which is interesting because there are times when this game is really punishingly difficult. Yeah, well, um, I mean, that's sort of the design of it. You're like, you're supposed to die a whole, whole bunch. Right, um, and you will. And it's you. hard. It's hard to sort of juggle that the the idea of killing someone a bunch, but also giving them uh, enough power, enough power and satisfaction to keep the game fun. Mm -hmm. um, man, oh man, that wow. was such a good run. Um, yeah, traditionally, like your characters don't last that long. See, I can try and block with the shield and then pick them up. Like, ah, even watching myself, I know this is like so the most stressful. egotistical thing ever. But like watching myself play this, I'm like, yeah. Great job. Oh, blocking with the shield. Look at you, Griffin, you're man. You're so clever. Look at, I, listen, uh, I'm pretty bad at some video games, all right? So, like, when but I... But you're pretty okay at some Super Time Force. Oh, no, no, but you lost... You got greedy. I did. Is what happened. Uh, but that's okay. So I can just drop Jean Rambois in there. Um, can I also the... say, like, it's so rare for me to actually... I don't want to sound like a snob or whatever, but um, when a lot of games try to go for the comedy styling that Super Time Force goes for, which is this, uh, you, you know, bizarre, like, s almost super bizarre uh, comedy hyper aesthetic. Hyper-referential. Hyper like, uh, there's an old man that, like, occasionally says things in leet speak. Like, hey, thanks, bye. Um, yeah. Like, that kind of stuff wears so thin for other games for me, and I feel like Super Time Force does all of it really really well like whenever it, you finish a mission you get a report card and the report card gets like a grape job sticker on it and like a, a gold star and a picture of you with the president and then like a cookie for some yes, reason yes the cookie is my favorite part you get a cookie bike because you did such a great job like and children scream excitedly yeah. it's it's man it's really really great um let's hop forward a little bit to a boss fight because i really want to show that off all right so this is one of the boss fights this is the wow Cool start. Great Off to job. a good start, yeah. Um, this is the 10 million BC boss fight. And, like, what's what's great about the boss fights is you don't get those extra 60-second power-ups. You have 60 seconds, and that's it. And you have to figure out how to use it as efficiently as you possibly can. Uh, and each one adds these different mechanics that make you think about how you can use the sort of time-space teamwork of Super Time Force in a way that lets you... Uh, finish the boss as quickly as you possibly can. So, like right, some of the early, one of the earlier ones, you can just like charge up Jean Rambois thing, fire it at him, and then restart time, create another Jean Rambois, fire his at him, and then you can do that 30 times and mow them down. Um, but there aren't a lot where you can get away with that. You really have to use all these different mechanics in, in concert. Um, yeah, it, it does a pretty good job of forcing you to use its mechanics. Um, and this is sort of like a precursor to more difficult boss battles later, which uh, they'll destroy the platform you're on, as okay. opposed to just attack you. Okay, so you have to defend um, more than just your own mortality. Exactly. Yeah. Um, 
So like this is an example of that. Like Jean Rimbaud, as I mentioned before, has this spread fire attack, which is really good for uh, you know steadily depleting something's HP. It's also really good at picking out these uh, pick taking out these uh, these projectiles that these missiles are firing, which is great, by the way, that these missiles are firing <laughs> missiles at you, fired and then out he's of riding a giant, a giant missile. shark shaped missile. Yeah, um, that's the kind of game that you're playing, that is, folks. In yeah. case you weren't absolutely clear. That's this sort of interesting narrative thing is that it's actually, you're kind of not so good. Like, no, you're, you're terrible. You're heroes, but you're you're actually totally destroying everything. Right now we went back to dinosaur times because your captain thinks dinosaurs are awesome and wants dinosaurs and humans to coexist, so you're basically stopping the meteor that took out all dino life. Um, also, I think it was an excuse to do as much dino rider shit as possible. Yeah, probably. Um, you uh, so like I was mentioning, you have the basic and charge up attack. You move a little bit slower with the charge up attack, which is something else you have to uh, sort of keep in mind. It's a shame because when you have situations like I'm in right now, where I had her with like four power ups, um, she's incredibly powerful. But if she dies, like I don't really get that that benefit anymore because she sort of ate up all that power. Um, right. Nobody else can come after that and and steal those lives. See, so what you're doing now, like, is what I used, I did when I started, but eventually I just went all the way back to yeah. the beginning. Um, so now you can see I'm using his spread shot to take out these these death balloons, um, because those will be problematic in the future if I, if I don't do something about them now. Um, you mean in the past? Oh my god, my dome. My dome is splitting. Um, and it's funny watching the boss's health bar every time you play through it go down faster and faster. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's one really great Thunderdome battle where you just have to take down a line of enemies and you don't have nearly enough time to take them all out. So that battle in particular is especially all about draining that bar as quickly as you possibly can. It's, it's basic pattern recognition stuff and then layering in this idea of, oh, you are just not killing him fast enough. You need 10 guys all firing all at the same time to do this it's it's just an interesting like the way that i that i'm sort of thinking of it is that you it's guarantees failure like you're gonna fail you need to figure out how you can fail most effectively and efficiently so you can try again i was wondering for some of the levels if there was like some sort of incentive for playing through it without dying and that might be possible on some levels i am almost certain that most levels you just don't have enough time um, especially the boss fights. I do not think there's a boss fight I've played through yet that you could get through without without dying at least one time. So, oh man, he's super strong right now. He has like everybody all combined on him. Um, I think this might actually do it for me. I think I might oh, 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 yep. oh, yep. Um, nice, so, yeah. well done. Thank you. So this is, I don't want to belabor the point because um, there's a lot to talk about of all the cool stuff that it does, but um, I just I I love this game. Like I I am really really enjoying it a lot. Um, it's it's one of my favorite games I've played this year. Um, just because I like this type of game normally, even if it didn't have all this time travel shit in it. Um, but that extra stuff just makes it unlike anything I've ever played. So. Agreed. I don't know that I I'm quite as into it as you are. I think that it's maybe hitting some buttons for you that it didn't quite push for me. I but I do think it's a remarkably solid action game yeah. with mechanics that, like you said, we've literally never seen in a game before. I'm really glad they spent the time they, they did to get it to where it is now. Because right. um, I, I think the ideas were there before, but they are just so refined and so great now. Um, so, yeah, uh, play this game. It's really it's really delightful. Arthur, thank uh, And you. it's out Wednesday it out this Wednesday. week it's on Wednesday. Xbox 360 and Xbox yep. One. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll see you soon with more videos this week. Mario Kart 8, all kinds of great stuff. Um, here's, the, here's my report Here's our report card. Uh, it seems a fitting way to end. Arthur, try, thanks a lot. Triceratops basketball player. He's shaking hands with the, the president. Okay. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye.